Today, we're going to be talking about the theorem, and I'll be using it on my noisy cricket. To take this apart, top comes off, like so. The first thing I need is some wire, okay? And what I've got here is I've got some Canthal 28 gauge. I need to straighten this out as much as I can. And I'm gonna need probably around about seven inches, seven, eight inches I would say. Two of those, because we're gonna dual coil this theorem. I've got my 2.9 mil screwdriver here. And I'm gonna go for seven loops seven wraps so one two three four five six seven just snip this part off here right there we are one coil. Right, there we go. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna be inserting one of the leads into one of the positive posts. And then the closest negative post is where the other lead goes. When you're coiling these, one of the leads needs to go above, one of the one of the leads needs to go below. You see that? You got one going above, you got one going below. Insert those into the deck. So you can see now. All right, and I'm going to tighten those posts up with the Allen key. Make sure your coils aren't sticking out too much because you don't want those touching the glass. When the coils heat up, there's a danger they could break the glass if they make contact. Just get me tweezers on that. At the bottom, it's gone a little bit skewed. It's okay to mess about with them until they're right. Right, what I'm going to do now is snip these tails as close as possible, so one two and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. Get those there we go, get those coils on the same level. There we go. There we are. Right, okay, so I was aiming for around about the sort of 0.5-ish mark, and that will do nicely. As I say, in the cricket with a couple of 18650s, 25R, Batteries, I don't want to go anywhere below 0.4. Okay, now on this little thing, I've got a fire mode here. Give that a little blast. Right. Just give those a little pinch. Not quite burning evenly yet, so we're going to pinch them. We're going to just strum, just strum the coils. from the center out. Got some bacon. Okay, and I just want one, one long strand. Now, I tend to play this by, by eye. Squeeze it up at the end. I'm just gonna 
slot that through. Make sure that I don't touch those cords because they're probably still a little bit hot. There we go. Now it needs to be not too tight, not too loose. See these grooves here? These two groove, this groove, there's one on the other side. The cotton's going to go through, or just rest. And that's going to plug the hole when the Pyrex is on. Now I can use as much cotton as I like. Some people don't like to use too much, and you can feel fit more juice in your tank. I like to keep a little bit of cotton on. I'm just going to cut slightly diagonally on the cotton, probably leaving probably about two centimetres either side, I would say. And just feed that through those little channels there. One there, one there. There we go. Okay. Brilliant. Right, now. Placing the Pyrex glass back on me theorem. Okay, just making sure that's uh, that's on properly. I'm using some kilo, and I've got uh, apple pie. So I'm just going to prime the coil first. There you go. Just just paint that on. Okay. There we are. And then I'm going to fill the tank up. Little plug there, plugs up this hole. I've got adjustable airflow in here. If I take the drip tip off, I'll show you. If I unscrew this part. There we go, there's your airflow. So I can have airflow on either side. I've got a ring, a ring there which I can turn and I can adjust the airflow. I like to have it fully open, it's just the way I like it. And that just plugs in like so. And there we go. There is the theorem. And we're ready to roll. Right, here we go. Let's give it a go. Plenty of flavour. The flavour is just, oh dear, absolutely incredible from this. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Well, see you next time. Happy vaping.